So one of the first things I did in order to start messing around with my layout in my site is I wrapped all of the content inside of an HTML element called a div, a division element. And what ended up happening after that is I defined a width and padding and essentially I got a page that looks like this or was it this one let's see no it looked this was the one um, that had that one div container wrapped around it with the width and padding so then I decided to go ahead down the way and add containers for each one of these elements I had the the banner up top over here the portrait the biography and so on what the result of that was I ended up getting all this extra spacing in there. Um, for example, you notice how the width between the chrome on the one with all of the other divs is wider than the width on the one with only the one div container. And the reason why that happened is because with my CSS I targeted all div containers. And for example, it found the container and it said oh here's a div element let me add 30 uh, pixels of padding to it here which we see happen right over here between this red line between these two dotted lines over here but then because it found yet another div which is the banner it added another 30 pixels so the result was 60 pixels away from the browser chrome um, now from for my page right here it's not a big deal and it looks fine but obviously when you're working on this kind of stuff you want a little finer control over targeting elements and that's actually one of the reasons why you'd use something like an ID in a div con uh, on a div because you could target just that div specifically so here's what I want to do instead of having 60 picks or 60 uh, a 60 picks away from the browser Chrome because I have two different div containers with 30 picks 30 pixels of padding on there. I just want the container, the one main uh, div container holding everything, which just happens to be called div. Uh, I just want that to have the 30 pixels, and actually maybe I'll put a hundred pixels of padding in there for it. So how would I do that? Well, I do that by targeting just that div container through my CSS. And so what I'm going to do now in my CSS is instead of using div, which is very generic and this is is going to hit any div container on there, I want to target just that specific ID that I set it to. And here's the syntax for um, targeting your IDs. It starts with a pound or a hash and from there you put in the name of the ID and I name mine container. Now I can type it in which may be fine but it's just a good practice to always copy and paste stuff that way you make sure you have the proper spelling because uh, container even if you misspelt it over there obviously if you have two eyes it's not going to target it or if you have uh, IA it's not going to do it and so copy and paste that what's going to happen now once I save this um, well let me go again and outline exactly what's happening now with our block order so we have um, oh shoot this is the refreshed page okay so this all of a sudden looks the way it should be well the point being is is that when we had well I could still show you the difference here's what it looks like how I wanted it to look like and if I do information display div order we see that now these headers over here and, and the text is falling right flush to um, to its border for that div container but it still has the 30 pixels and this is what I want to happen now if I change this back to div and just made it more generic and I refreshed it now we see that it's everything inside of here is 30 pixels away from the div container that it is so if I want to target 
specific IDs, uh, and that's actually why the uh, um, web developer plugin puts them out that way with the hash. If I wanted to target these specifically in my CSS, I need to start with a hash or a pound sign and put in that name. Now, obviously, you don't want to type it in like I did because I'm always messing stuff up. That's why I just like to copy and paste that stuff in there. And, ba boom. And now, in the same way, let's say I wanted just to target the education div container. Let me go down the way and find education. I just start with the hash, I put in the ID name, and then I could target it specifically to really fine tune what I want to happen here, you see? And now it targeted all that. So you see, you should now see the power of these IDs. Uh, and how you could use them to really specifically target certain elements uh, in your HTML.